everyone, my name is Pixie333 and today in this video I am doing a what I got for my birthday because it was recently my birthday. So today I decided I'd do a video where I show you some of the things that I got for my birthday um, and talk a little bit about them. Also before we start I just want to say if you would like to see the huge announcement that was mentioned in the title, wait until the end of the video and I will tell you what the huge announcement is and it is pretty big so I would suggest to wait till the end because it does have a big impact on this channel that most of you will be most of you watching this will be subscribed to so I guess without further ado let's get on with the video so my first present was this and it's basically wall stickers and you guys would have just seen my intro with the Pixie 333 and the little, that's a dandelion? The, the little, f um, the little fairy flower that goes, did it, did it, did it, that one. <laughs> um, they're like that, but in my favourite colour, purple. And there's a little, like, violety one. And you've got all your stems. So um, I'm thinking that for these kind of videos, I might stick them. On the wall here so let me know what you think about that and then it can be like my background so I, I'll make some pretty flowers on the wall with some butterflies okay, but yeah I got those and um, so thank you to the person that got me those very very nice the next one is this it is um, a Charlie body spray set um, I do love Charlie's body sprays they're amazing the one I there's four in here. I should take it out to show you. Um, throw that down there. <laughs> so there is a red one, a purple one, a pink one, and a black one. The purple one I don't have actually. I don't have the purple one. I have the pink one um, already. But th these are like little miniature versions of them. They're quite cute. Um, I have the bigger pink one which is over there, but it is nearly run out. So this is quite good. This one is just called Pink. Um, vanilla and Tangerine, the pink one. Then this purple one is called Divine. It's Black Cherry and Iris Petal. Um, I've not tried that one yet, so I think it smells quite nice. Shall I have a go? Let me pop these down here. I'll have a go at it. I'll look, just try and describe the smell to you. Mmm, smells nice. It's the the um the purple one does smell quite floral. These all kind of smell quite floral. The pink one, not get it mixed up with. That one that one smells a bit like candy to me. Yeah, l let me know in the comments if you guys have any of the stuff that I got for my birthday because you know cool times. Then the red one is called red. It's rose petal and spices. So let's have a go at this one. Mmm. Yeah, it, it smells like, a, it is again a really strong floral scent. And then the last one is black. It's called black as well. It's called white musk and mandarin. So let's have a go at this. I don't know where to spray it. I've run out of places to spray. There we go. Mmm. Oh. What does that one smell of? I guess it is quite, yeah, it is like a white musk scent, I guess. The next present I got is this. It is a nail art kit, I guess. Now, if you guys have seen my video that I did quite a while back now. It's called My Nail Collection, I believe. If you go onto my channel and scroll down a bit, you'll find it. But I basically talked about all the nail products I have and expressed how deeply I don't really, I'm not really bothered about how my nails look. It's not, some people, some people can't go out without their nails looking perfect and that's absolutely fine I think that's really cool but me personally I don't care about my nails really they don't look great then they're, they're not the nice <laughs> they're not that nice but I might be able to change that with this 
Um, so yeah, you've got, we've got loads of different colours of them. They all look quite cool. Let me zoom, zoom in to show you. Hello. Um, so it does look, it's a bit of a mirror effect and it looks like there's another set behind it. You might not be able to tell in the camera because it's like, you can, but in real life it looks like you've got double them all at the back, but it's not like that, it's just the mirror effect. So there's, how many is there? One, so there's 20 different nail varnishes and within those 20, basically they're split into fives. So you've got um, like a glittery sort of main body one and then you've got the different Lissler ones as like patterned ones I guess you could do um, and then in in the middle here you've got little gems so I guess you could use tweezers and like stick them on your nails after you've put these ones on so yeah I guess it says set contains four glitter nail varnishes 14 gloss nails nail varnishes two metallic nail varnishes and one wheel of nail gems yes it does so they didn't lie to me but yeah i guess that this you might see my nails looking quite nice in future videos because my 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 nails aren't a good thing it's it's they're not particularly special in any way but that might change with this nail kit who knows um i'm also going to before i move on i'm also going to apologize for the lighting i'm using natural light out of my window today so if the lighting changes all the time sorry but natural lighting that's what it does to you because it's a sunny day today i thought why not so that's that present the next one you might think it's very bog, st bog standard it's look it's just some headphones um the rich bass bass's riches that's literally what it's called rich bass bass's riches phillips headphones um not head earphones earplugs um so the reason i got these is i had some very loyal earphones before and the little sound like the mic on them had just basically crumbled and disintegrated and it ended up snapping so i ended up having to throw the, that pair in the bin and then i had to borrow supergirl's headphones and when i'm gaming i don't mind headphones but when i'm sat on my ipad doing whatever on my phone i don't want to I don't want big headphones on all the time. So um, I found in a drawer the headphones that I use now. Um, they've got a great mic on them and they're really nice and they're good, but they really hurt your ears. Let me get them and show you. These, these are the ones I use now. They're the HTC, they're really raveled up. These are the HTC ones and they are good headphones, yeah. The sound's good and they don't break easily and yeah but i find that the plugs really hurt your ears especially if you have them in for quite a long time like when i'm on my mac editing videos editing videos they literally kill me all the time when you first put them in they feel all right but then over time if you've got them in for more than half an hour they just start to really hurt your ears so i'm quite glad that i got some new ones and these ones are really good they're really comfy as well they're really ruffled up though because i've just got them out of the packaging but look <laughs> so if i popped them in they're really comfy i feel like i'm shouting now because i can't hear myself but um, and then you can just plug them into your phone or iPad or laptop or computer or whatever and they're just really comfy. I mean these ones are specially made to fit nicely in your ears so that's cool. That's quite nice. I like it. So um, yeah I got some headphones and I'll definitely be using these in the future and they have a really good mic on. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I mean if you use a mic for stuff like I do then there we go 
mic. It's a good mic, I've tested it. So yeah, that's the next person that I got. Next thing I got, you might think is really strange, but it's cute and funny and sentimental. So my parents got me this. Um, it is a survival kit. It says a cherry little bag brimming with sentimental provisions, especially for you. So it has, it's just this red bag. And then let me pop the bag down and get out the paper inside. Cause it's just really, it's a bit quirky. And I'm not much of a quirky person, but it, 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 it's cute. So um, you've got the red tissue paper and inside there's this card. Um, and I'll read it out to you and show you the stuff because there's just loads of stuff inside. So it says like, oh no, so it says like nail file for when you need to smooth things over. So like, do you get it? Some of these are really, some of these puns are like really bad, just saying, so prepare yourself for the cringe. A stretchy man, remember to be flexible, things won't always go your way. That is very true. Shall I take the stretchy man out of the packet? If he sticks to the wall, I'll leave him there for the rest of the video. Look, stretchy man. Let's see, does he stick to the wall? I don't think he will. No, he's not going to stick to the wall. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for joining us, Stretchy Man. Tissues, it's time to stop using your sleeve. Now that is cheeky and disgusting at the same time. There's a joke. Then there's a joke card and um, it says joke to make you laugh when you're feeling grumpy. Now, this is my mum's go-to joke. She literally, when someone says, tell me a joke, she will say this joke. It's like me with my joke. I'll tell you my joke first. If someone says to me, tell me a joke to try and make me laugh, I always, it's stupid and I have for my entire life. I saw it on an episode of SpongeBob when I was really little and I've just said it ever since. It's, what do you call a snail on a ship? And then everyone goes, oh no, what do you call a snail on a ship? And then I go, a snailer. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the playground? I don't know, why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. <laughs> oh, ha ha, very funny. Oh no, let me focus it on that. Yeah, so that's my joke that I've got to live with for the rest of my life. There we go. Uh, then we have a bag of good goodies here, but I'm looking for the safety pin, which is in here. Okay guys, so that's it for the little red bag. The next present I got goes on your phone. Um, and this is like a little owl. Look how cute he is. So um, it, it just comes like this in a little bag. Um, let me get out of focus so it focuses on the owl. Look how cute the owl is. Anyway, this little owl basically it's got the plug and you put it where your headphones would be on your phone and then you can twist it round so that it faces the way that you want it to. And then you've got a little buddy whilst you carry your phone around. Um, and the cool thing about this is you don't have the actual plug bit, you only have to buy that one once you can buy accessories to go on this so i've got an owl but you could buy a cat for example take the owl off and um, i don't think i can actually anyway take the owl off and then put the cat there instead so you can sort of switch it about so if you aren't really a fan of owls but you like dogs like i like dogs i have two dogs you could put a dog there but i i do like owls I have quite a lot of owl things, so. Okay, so the last present, oh, actually, it's not the last present I have. The last present that, um, the second to last present, I can't talk today. Uh, the second to last present I'm gonna show you guys today is this. This is a bag. Um, uh, that is perfect for all you guys that are back that go back to school 
soon. They're all are already back at school. I know some of you will already be back at school. So let me take the wrapper off. Look! Ah, uh, I don't know where did I where did where's this from? Where's it from? Uh I don't know. I don't know where it's from. I hope that was in key so I can leave it in the video. So yeah, so it's quite a cool bag. It's got the um, black and white striped bottom and then it's got a little um, pocket here. Oh, you don't even have to take that out. It's just a button. Oh, that's clever. So you can leave this bit in and it's just literally a button. And then inside you've got, a, you've got loads of space to put all your belongings in there. Um, and then, whoop, there we go. And then you've got um, a little tan thing there and it's got a little monkey on it. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see the little monkey? So um, it's got a little monkey tan thing. This is tan, obviously this is a tan leather. It, um, the tan parts are all like fake leather, so that's quite cool. It's got the two zips on the side made out of the leather. And then if we open it, it's got, it's like light brown on the inside and it's got quite a couple of compartments. I don't think you can actually see it on the camera, but on this side, it's got like a bit of Velcro and a big pocket there. So this is actually a really spacious, it doesn't look that spacious, but it is really spacious. You've got the huge section here. And then on this side, you've got a little zip so you can put stuff in there. And then you've got two little pockets here to put stuff. And it's got the big area there. So if I could just close that back up. Then on the sides, it has where the stripes are it has a little pocket so you could put like a drink in there or you could put like you like i wouldn't put anything valuable on there so like you could put your drink in there you could put your perfume in there you could put tissues in there anything that you'd sort of need to just swipe out and use sort of thing um you could put them in the side pockets and then this is what the back looks like so you've got like I expected this to be tan, but it's not, it's like a cream. So you've got the little carrier bit, and then you've got the actual straps. Um, and yeah, so I think it's really pretty. So I'll be using that very soon. So I hope you like the bag. Put in the comments what you think of the bag. Um, I quite like the color of it. Um, now guys, this is the last present that I'm gonna be showing you guys. And this present comes with the huge announcement you've all been waiting for. So everyone who stayed until the end of this video, well done, I'm very proud of you. Um, that must mean that you're really interested in what's gonna be happening very soon. So, in my very first video I did on this channel ever, because um, this is the first channel I've ever had, um, it's called Welcome to My Channel Video. Anyway, that video I basically tell you guys about the sort of videos I'm going to be doing on this channel and I've done them all I've done baking I've done beauty I've done fashion sort of I've done vlogs I've done bits about animals like I did Holly and Emma and a bit of Bruce and stuff so I've sort of done everything that I said I was going to do except for one thing which is gaming because I said that I was going to be doing gaming videos. People that know me in real life will know that I do like gaming. So I am a big gamer off camera. And also in my YouTube account bio, if any of you guys have read that, it says that I, I do gaming videos. Now I'm yet to do a gaming video and I've been doing this channel for over a year, which is crazy. The year's gone super quick. I didn't think it would come around this fast, but I am going to be starting doing gaming videos on this channel. So if you, but don't worry, if you guys are watching this and you think, 
I'm not, I don't really like gaming videos, but I watch the videos, like these kind of videos, like the hauls and the vlogs and baking and like talking videos, not gaming videos. If you still like them, don't panic. These are still going to happen as well as gaming videos. Um, so the sort of things that I'm going to do, I'm going to start as, so the first gaming video you'll see me do is a Pikmin 3 series on the Wii U. Now the re the reason that I am doing Pikmin 3, I know it's quite an odd game now, it's been out for quite some time. The only reason I do it is because I wanted to start off with a game that I know and that I know some of you guys will know as well because Pikmin is quite a popular game. Um, I have completed the game more times than I can count and I know the controls of the Wii U and stuff like that so I just wanted to start with a game that I'm comfortable with and I think you guys will quite like so make sure you watch out for that but when we're a couple of episodes into my Pikmin 3 series I will be doing a second series which leads me on to my final present. Now, some of you guys will know the game Ark Survival Evolved. So, it's been out for about two, to two or three years now, and I have it on the PS4. I've got the disc here. I bought the disc on the PS4. I have wanted this game ever since it came out, I want to have a go on it first, so what I'm going to do is, whilst I'm doing the Pikmin one, I'm going to start a, let's, a series on this for you guys to watch, but this is going to come after I've had a go myself, because I want to get to grips with the controls, because I know there'll be some of you out there watching this that quite like Ark and have been watching it for a very, very long time, and you've watched series where people has gone from noob to pro and you watch pro videos and I know that if you watch me do an arc video it is annoying when I'm like oh how do I jump how do I like and it's the basic controls that I don't know and I know that can be frustrating for people it's frustrating for me to watch other people do it like that so that's why I usually skip <laughs> skip forward a couple of episodes but that's why I'm going to have one game, one server, that well, it's all going to be on private servers, by the way. I am super duper excited for this. So I'm, I'm just going to make a private game first, get to grips with the controls, um, practice taming a couple of dinos, practice building, and just get to know the controls whilst I start doing my Pikmin 3. Then, when we've about halfway through the Pikmin 3 series, I'll start the series on this. Um, I don't know how many videos I'll put out a week. Don't, don't, I don't know. It depends how often I get to actually play it. So, obviously, I know I've gone on about this for a long time, but I was super excited when I found out that I was getting it. Um, and then when I'm ready to film the videos, I would be doing the Pikmin 3. I'll be doing this arc. I'll probably do quite a couple of Let's Plays on this because I'm super excited about it. And when I get to grips with it, I'll probably be able to do more adventurous stuff. Because if you guys don't know what arc is, I would suggest going on the YouTube search bar and type in Ark Survival Evolved. Go on their channel and watch a couple of their videos and it shows you like behind the scenes it shows you trailers certain dinosaurs it's really really cool i've been subscribed for years so make sure you head over there and subscribe if you're not already if you like these kind of games you see the good thing is even if you're not a gamer and you're not into gaming you might still like to but you like dinosaurs or you like history or you like exploring or taming and stuff like that you can still watch these because it's all about that it's just literally a survival game it says survival is just the beginning on here um and it really is so other games that i will be doing 
once my I don't want to have too many gaming series on at once so once my Pikmin 3 has finished I'll still be on Ark most likely whilst doing that I will be doing a Far Cry Primal series on the PS4 as well and go through that gameplay so if you guys are a Far Cry fan then let me know I've been watching loads of videos on that as well for ages it's on the PS4 again um, I'm probably going to end up finishing the Far Cry Primal series faster than I will my Ark series because I do want my Ark series to last quite a long time and be a lengthy sort of survival series because I know there will be a lot of people out there watch this video or watch one of my gaming videos and want it to continue. So. That's what I'm doing when Ark Survival comes out. I know I'm jabbering on about it a really long time, but I'm doing Far Cry Primal. Then I've got loads of Wii U games. I've got Mario Kart, Mario 3D World, pretty much all the Marios, Mario Maker, Splatoon. I've got Sonic Racing. I've got I've got loads of games on the Wii U um, and a couple on the PS4 as well. Also, eventually, we'll be coming iPad Gaming. Um, so I'll be doing Minecraft Pocket Edition, Roblox Pocket Edition, loads of other games on there as well. Hungry Shark is a game on the iPad, this free game um, that I'm quite into at the minute. So you might see a couple of videos, those pop up every now and again. But yeah, I hope you guys are happy with the choices of games that I've decided to play. Obviously, if you have any suggestions for any games whatsoever, put them in the comments of any video because I read all the comments, as I said in the last one, and I'll let you know what I think of the comments. Also, leave in the comments any video suggestions that you have, whether they're gaming, whether they're these sort of videos, whether whatever they are, I'm happy because I read them all and I like to know what you guys like. So put them in the comments, feel free, I don't mind. Um, so I'm gonna end the video there. If you have any questions about the gameplay videos, just put in the comments any questions you have. And if there are a lot of questions about it, I'll make a separate video talking about my new gameplay channel. I'll probably make a trailer as well or something like that, uh, like introducing it a couple of days before the first game comes out. So yeah. With that, so I'll, I'll end it there because I've been jabbering on quite a bit. But I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Okay, guys, so I know you have just finished watching the video of what I got off my birthday, and I was talking about my gaming channel. But during the video, I heard it's later in the day now for me. I recently remembered that I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Ryan. He shares the same birthday as me, so I wanted to say happy birthday to Ryan. I hope you have a lovely birthday. Um, here are some pictures of the cake that I got for my birthday. So I'll put a little montage in after that, and then this video is actually over. So happy birthday, Ryan, and you're awesome. Bye.